Hi everyone. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm here with Marion. Back in magical birdland. Yeah, it's really amazing here tonight. Mm. So um, Marion's been doing a workshop. Yeah, it's a really nice way to end a beautiful weekend. So we've had uh, three days of uh, getting into your body, enjoying being in your body or finding the places of joy in the body. Yes, yeah, uh, so. it's been really magical. And we, today we had uh, Juliet come and help people learn a bit more about trauma and how that impacts the way that you are in your body. It was very enlightening for the ladies, the three wise women that yeah. I was with. Yeah, that was amazing. They the loved the, the one that's a nurse in nursing yeah. and she's interested to do. Yeah, so, so from <laughs> a nursing perspective, she was thinking about how can she support people more? And she's quite disheart she's quite disheartened with the nursing world at the moment because of the overuse of drugs and so how can they find different ways to treat and help people? So she was really, really and just joyful to what? hear <laughs> to hear how um, understanding trauma and helping people to work in their own trauma patterns can really support the nurses and the doctors and the patients. Yeah. So she's thrilled. Yeah, yeah, so she, and that'd be so gonna, amazing if she yeah. learned some of those skills. So she's going to come and do um, Juliet's trauma training next year. Starting in February. Yeah, yeah, starts in February, so she's very excited. She's got three months to get ready. But I think it's important that every one of us understands what trauma does because the beauty of this video, if you've been watching the birds, is this social intercommunication, this interaction between the different beings in the flock is actually where healing happens and as humans at the moment we've been separated from our flock and separated from our other flock members and it's distressing so how can we help to bring balance back to that level of distress and the beauty of my wonderful teacher here Juliet I'm so grateful <laughs> to you Juliet of what she teaches and how she teaches helps us all to get back in the flock and being yeah. beautiful murmurations with each other <laughs> it's stunning yeah to feel our interconnections it's really important yeah so excuse my hands are a bit shaky it's cold so, yeah it, it's very cold and um yeah so that was that was really great to do that i really enjoyed mm. doing that uh, little teaching this afternoon and for the first time for ages to sit with a group and do you want to hold I'll it for a bit yeah. oh I saw the sky. Have you got it? I've got it. Yeah. To um, oh my arms. Oh, yeah. that's <laughs> Shake that trauma out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. Marion did some. We did shaking. some shaking, some trembling. We did some yoga, some restorative yoga. Um, we did some really slow yoga practice, mindful practice. So my thing is about somatic integration because I know my body interacts with other bodies and other beings, and through that interaction, I'm helping me. Oops. Yeah, I'm helping me and I'm also helping them, but I can't do any of that if I'm not in my body, if I'm not embodied. Yeah. So that my work is the embodiment of me, yeah. and uh, finding juicy joy, and the juice of me comes through this flow of connectivity within me, that then is a reflection outside of me, which is where the flock needs it. Yeah. So if I'm not connecting to me, I can't connect to the rest of the flock, and we can't. As I say, do these divine murmurations <laughs> of our, you know, species being beautifully interacting together. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Magic stuff. So it's been a really magical three days. 
Um, and yeah, the little cherry on the cake today of Juliet coming and bringing her beauty and her magic to the circle was just stunning, really mm. stunning. Yeah, because yeah. most of us don't understand about trauma at all, that it's, it's a physical symptom, it's something in the body mm. and through somatic awareness and working through the body we can heal it. And that's why I keep doing these little videos, get into nature, get your feet on the earth, yeah. get embodied, get into relationship, into connection and that's really very, very, help, very, very helpful. So, uh, yeah, so it's amazing out here tonight and uh, it's lots and lots of starlings. A bit hard to see them because the sky is, sky is, gray. is, is very, very grey. But yeah. can you hear all the, all the starlings singing? The huge yeah, amount of, yeah. I do hope you can get out here and enjoy them. I know some of you might be watching from Australia, but maybe you've been here. <laughs> well, you can use the Freedom Express. We watched some beautiful, um, what's her name? Dolores Carhill mm. last night talking about how can we uh, recover in this world and use this experience currently to build, build back what we really need, what we really want. And one of the things that she talked about was that there are some airlines that are going out of business. So um, as conscious entrepreneurs, then it would be a good time to buy an airline <laughs> and use that as a way to get... She wants everyone to go to Ireland for Christmas dinner. So I don't know, you've posted it on your timeline, didn't yeah. you, Julia? It says the good news. So go and have a look for the good news video and see what Dolores has got to say. Yeah. We'll see if we can get Dolores to, to come over to uh, Glastonbury. Yeah, yeah. She might want to come for New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can do some trauma healing with yeah. her. Yeah. So we'll give you one last little look because I think my battery's going to run out. So um, yeah, cool. I do hope you've had a wonderful day and um, yeah, and you get the opportunity to <laughs> the opportunity to come and visit. Come by and have a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, because Healing Waters is only a few miles out from here. So if you come to visit, then we can bring you out and enjoy. Mm. Yeah, and then go home and have tea and cake afterwards, which is what I always like to do. <laughs> Yeah, I need cake. Lots of cake, lots of tea. Okay. So, just going to switch back one last little look. So, yeah. I mean, the, the, the reeds are absolutely full of starlings. I don't know how well it's coming across. You can hear them. Exactly. Yeah, I can hear them very clearly, but when I played back the video yesterday, I couldn't hear them so well. So, um. You can hear those little moorhens messing on the water there. Yeah. I wonder if the moorhens and the ducks get jealous because everybody's looking for the starlings and they're not giving any attention to yeah. the moorhens. I wonder if they get jealous. Look at me, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> so the nature reserves used to be peat workings. That was an industry out here a long time ago. And this was where they dug the peat out, the peat moors. And then they turned it into a nature reserve and uh, it's just filled up with water. and. They were going to make it a World Heritage Site because there are so many um, rare species of birds that come out here, hundreds of different birds. And uh, yeah, grebes for instance, and crested grebes, and different kinds of herons, and all sorts of little tiny things, different kind of finches, and different things. Yeah, so mm. I'm wondering if they can see the board over there. They probably can't see that board, but anyway. There's boards here with all the different birds on. There's a lot of swooping going on on top of those reeds. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's probably really hard to see, but they, the starlings in the reeds, they just kind of pop up and just skim the top of the reeds. And then they duck down again. So uh, I guess the best um, displays were last night. We've come down to explore this other space down here and because the sky was so grey it was hard to see. But anyway, just giving you a taste and uh, yeah, so <laughs> I hope you're enjoying. So we're going to say goodbye now because my, my battery's also running out. So yeah, lots of love to you. Yeah. Come and enjoy, come yeah. and enjoy. Embody and enjoy. Yeah, be well, be happy. Mm. Go and have tea with somebody. <laughs> and cake. Or whatever, whatever, yeah, cake. whatever you enjoy. Mm. Give yourself opportunity to enjoy what you enjoy. Mm -hmm.
Okay, bye for now. Bye. Bye. bye.